What's up guys, it's Patricia from tarantulaheaven.com and today we're going to talk about signs of stress that tarantulas may be displaying and I think this is most helpful for new tarantula owners because I think some of the first things that we're worried about when we first get a tarantula is avoiding being bitten and um, this is actually something that you will come to find but tarantulas are actually really anxious and quirky and just all around nerdy um, and while you might be anxious about them, they're actually extremely anxious creatures themselves. And just from like my own experience with my Chilean rose hair Spidey right here, um, she's extremely anxious, timid, and a lot of tarantulas are like this. And even when they are giving you a threat pose or something like that, they're defending themselves because once again, they feel threatened and anxious. Um, tarantulas are basically the nerds of the spider kingdom. So um, a lot of times they, dis they display signs of stress that we might not even be picking up on and there's a lot of things that we can do to reduce that stress so that they're less defensive and more comfortable in their environment. So I want to talk about these signs of stress so that if your tarantula is displaying them you can calm them down, make them feel more comfortable, be their little spider therapist, um, and you can also um, avoid accidents and possible bites or flicking of hairs. So. It's important to say that while tarantulas can't really feel emotions, as we know so far, um, they do definitely experience stress or anxiety and stuff like that. Um, whether it's just instinctual or it's like their regular fear response, they do experience these things, which drives their behavior. And, you know, they cannot tell us like cats or dogs when they're feeling afraid, but there are still some body language cues if you know them. And that's what we're going to talk about. But one of the biggest signs of stress is the infamous threat pose. If your tarantula is throwing a threat pose, it's not because they're aggressive, it's because they're being defensive. They're trying to defend themselves and get you or whatever's bothering them to back off. And what they'll do when they're doing a threat pose, if you don't know what that is, that's when your tarantula will rear up, put its uh, front legs up in the air and expose its fangs to you. And that is a big warning sign that you need to get the hell out of there because a bite may follow. <laughs> and this is what they usually do right before they prepare for a bite. Um, and they are trying to make themselves look bigger, more scary, so that they can ward off any danger and discourage what they believe is a threat. So this is a major sign of stress for your tarantula and you should definitely not ignore it. The other defensive thing that they do, and this is popular with new world tarantulas, old world tarantulas cannot do this because they don't have the hairs, but they will flick their urticating hairs off the back of their abdomen. And this is an offense that sometimes comes before biting. Um, this is something that new worlds use, as I said. Um, and these hairs are very itchy and aggravating. You don't want them near your face. You don't want to breathe them in. You don't want them in your eye. They're, they're pretty intense. So, if you notice that your spider is lifting its leg to kick at its abdomen, leave your tarantula alone. It is also getting very threatened and defensive and wants to be alone. Another sign of tarantula anxiety is when they hide behind their legs. And this is not to be confused with a death curl. A death curl is when all the legs curl up under the tarantula. This kind of um, curling up their legs is different. The legs kind of um, they're not curled underneath the tarantula and they also just tend to hide behind their legs to cover their faces. So it's a bit different. Um, and if you look up the difference between that and a death curl, you'll be able to see the differences right away. Um, but this is a sign that they are trying to hide. <laughs> and for them, it's kind of like, I can't see you, you can't see me, I'm hidden. <laughs> and so that is something that they will do. That's something that Spidey did, especially in the beginning when I didn't really know how to act gently around her and I didn't know what was setting her off. Um, that would be something that she would do. She would constantly try to make herself small or invisible. And if, if you look at this pose, it, it even looks like they're scared. I mean, it just, this, it's the scared body language. So you don't want your tarantula to be feeling like this. If you are bothering them or if you're moving around, banging around in their tank and they're doing this, they are terrified please leave them alone or stop whatever you're doing. Now tarantulas not only get stressed out when they feel threatened, like in the, um, in the examples I gave before, but they also experience stress and feel anxiety when they're not comfortable. So something else that your tarantula might be doing is climbing. If you have a tarantula that's terrestrial, like Spidey, a ground-dwelling spider, and they are climbing inappropriately on their tank, 
Um, it might be because something in their tank is bothering them. Tarantulas are very sensitive to their environments and just all things happening in their tank. They don't like things being messed around in their home. So what a lot of them will do is actually try to escape. Um, we see this a lot in rose hair tarantulas, especially um, in tarantulas who prefer very dry substrate. If there's any sort of dampness or moistness in there, um, they will actually do whatever they can to avoid touching it. And if you own a tarantula, you know how touchy they are about their space. Um, so they will climb on the wall. So that's a sign of stress too. So it's not only just them being scared or threatened, it's also they feel stress and anxiety when they're not happy with their environment. Another thing that tarantulas do when they experience stress is they will be more active than normal. Now, some species are just highly active and that's the way they are. So it's important to observe what's normal for your tarantula. But in a species like Spidey, who is a rose hair, um, they're pretty lazy, at least mine is. Um, and I know that that's normal for her. I know that when she's happy, she's doing nothing. <laughs> and if she is abnormally pacing or doing weird stuff in her tank, um, I know that she is feeling anxious. So what makes a tarantula anxious if they're being highly active? It could be anything from its environment, such as the substrate, as I mentioned before. It could be things being moved around. It could be prey items in the tank that are annoying them and they don't feel like eating. Um, it could also even be a new decoration. That's been something that Spidey's dealt with before. Um, it could really be anything. So being aware that your tarantula might be a lot more active right after a tank cleaning and might also try to climb the, the tank um, is something to definitely look out for and be aware of. And definitely, you know, plan ahead so that you can perhaps observe them a little more closely during that time in case they get into any trouble. And another sign of stress I want to mention is even if you do not see your tarantula kicking hairs or if they're not kicking hairs at you, a sign, uh, a physical sign of stress that you could definitely, you know, notice is that their abdomen might be getting bald spots. Now, tarantulas do tend to get a little bit bald when they're about to molt or when they're in pre-molt, but sometimes they just kick hair out of stress. And whether that's not directed at you or anything, they might be doing it when they're alone too. So. Noticing that is definitely important when you're trying to, you know, I guess gauge if your tarantula is being stressed out or not. But the main point is happy tarantulas do a whole lot of nothing. And that's something that I look for when I'm observing my tarantulas is noticing how active they're being. Um, and now tarantulas definitely do have seasons where they're more active than others. And that's the, where the observation comes in. You have to get to know your tarantula, what their cycles might be. How do they act on a normal basis? What's their temperament like? Because every tarantula is different. But if your tarantula is normally lazy and that's when all is well in their tank, definitely being aware of when they are very active and when they are more irritable. That can kind of help you troubleshoot and make sure that your tarantula can be returned to its happy space and not feeling anxious. And just getting these anxiety and stress signs taken care of and you know making sure that your tarantula is comfortable that definitely decreases your chance of being bitten or haired or your tarantula's chances of being hurt and just making sure that they thrive so thanks for watching guys and if you like that please give me a thumbs up or subscribe and if you have any other ideas of how tarantulas exhibit stress please let me know in a comment below and if you are interested in getting more tarantula news facts stories, please subscribe to my tarantula newsletter. It comes out every single Tuesday and I will put a link to that in the description below. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next week. Bye.